Okay, here we go. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. We're we're live. It's Thursday. It's every other Thursday. <laughs> Um, this is our tribe rally. So this whole, the whole purpose of this is just to see each other and like, Hey, <laughs> you know, virtual <laughs> high fives, um, just kind of rally and remember why we are in this fit community to begin with. Um, you can jump on like Mary, she's working and we're just talking around her. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but really uh, also Brittany is working. Actually, I'm also working. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't sell yourself short. <laughs> don't sell myself short. Um, and we just thought, you know, this is a great time for us just to kind of see each other. Cause they feel like it helps break down those walls of like, who are you and what do you do? And why are you, you know, who, why do I tag this person every day? What do they look like? Um, we obviously know that you're busy schedules, but you can always just phone in and listen. And then of course you can catch the recording. So, um, we're going to start with Tribe Trifecta. So Tribe Trifecta was created maybe almost two and a half years ago now. Something, yeah. It's been a while. Um, <clears throat> the whole premise of Tribe Trifecta was, you know, whether some people don't love the challenge group tracker app. Some people don't love, um, you know, being in a singular challenge group and they, they more just kind of want to like stay behind the scenes and do their workouts, but be, be motivated by other people doing them. So that's kind of what this group was meant for. It's a place for you to always know that you can come here and ask advice or, you know, run something, run a question so that if you don't always catch me or Brittany or whoever your coach is, that there's somebody there that probably has gone before you and has an answer. Um, so the whole, the whole point is to use it to your liking and what you want to gain from it. Um, but I think there's some things that you can easily do that will help create more and more of a community. And that being, you know, comment on people's posts, support them when they share their before and afters or their, you know, their frustrations or whatever they are. Let people know that you're there and you're somebody in this group that's either been there or doing things or whatever. And then also, you know, there's no harm in like, tagging somebody that you once upon a time did a, a challenge group with, or you saw a post that, you know, you just saw them, their name pop up, tag them. You just never know what could come from like a random friendship of, from this group. There's over 500 people in this group. Imagine like one day you're like, oh my gosh, there was a fire in our town. And someone's like, oh my gosh, there's a fire in our town. Oh my gosh. Like we live in the same town. Hey, you want to work out together? And then like your friends. <laughs> I just had... <laughs> a full conversation by myself. Oh, like, oh, why does it have to be that someone's like town's on fire? Because <laughs> I just saw that post. Like, oh my gosh, girl! Like, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it had to be something big. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, All right, it's just, like, <laughs> Hey, it's raining. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. oh, it's, it's raining in my house too. Yeah, they're like, like okay, that doesn't really work, but like you need something a little more catastrophic. So, um, that's all I meant is, um, use this as a, pr as a place to just grow and glean and share and not be afraid. It's not my group. It's not Brittany's group. It's not Mary's group. It's all of our groups. It's a place to grow your, your mind, your heart and your soul is, is for your body, your heart and your soul. Really. It's for everything. It's all encompassing. So do you have anything that you want to add to that? Um, I would just say, um, just kind of picking back on what Kim was sharing is that, you know, when we invited each of you into our community, into our online fit fam, part of what we promised you was a community. And so part of our heart in creating tribe was to fulfill this promise, right? To give you a place where you belong, a place where you can make friends who are across the country, women who are going to build you up, encourage you, hold you accountable as you hold yourself accountable and do the same for them as well. And so our heart isn't that you just kind of scroll through it every once in a while, which I mean, if you're listening to this recording, you're likely one of the people who's commenting <laughs> regularly anyway, or maybe you're in one of our current groups and you haven't been in tribe yet because you're in our first online accountability group. And so know that this group exists for you. Check out the file section. There are um, meal plans, shopping lists in there. We want you guys to really dig into this community because the community is only as special and as thriving as each of you 
because it's, if it's just me and Kim, if it's the same five of us checking in every day, that's great. And like, we get a lot out of it, but we want to make sure that you're getting a lot out of it too. And so we don't want you to just be a lurker. We want you to be an active participant in this community. We want you to know that you belong here, know that you're welcome here, know that it doesn't matter if you've started and stopped a million times before and you just feel like, you, like you don't want to start again because you don't want to like show up and then fall off track again. Know that this community is filled with grace. This community is excited when you show up. No one's thinking, oh, here she goes again. I wonder how long it's going to be until she falls off. That's not the heart of this community. That's not why, why we created this group. An interesting thing that someone brought up to me recently, she um, I had added her to the group and she left the group and she sent me a message and she said that, um, she didn't realize that some of the people in the group were people that like she went to school with like in high school, like years ago. So we've, I mean, over like 10, 11 years ago, she was in school with them and she didn't feel like she had like this great relationship with them at the time and didn't want to be in this community with them where they could see her struggles or starting and stopping or things that she was working through. And it was an interesting conversation that she and I had <clears throat> because I was sharing with her that like, it's been 11 years, <laughs> you know, and that, um, of course, I don't know the nature of like what really went down, but I was just sharing with her that like this community is not a place for judgment. This community is not a place for bullying, for putting people down. People in this community want the encouragement. They want to be supportive. Like what they bought into was exactly the story that we're sharing with all of you guys, this place of where you belong and where you're going to get encouragement and you're going to, um, receive that. And we've never had an issue with someone bullying, like in tribe, right? Like where it was like, or being judgmental, you're going to be cheered on. You're going to be celebrated. And I think if you're in this community and you realize that some people in there are people from your past that I just want to encourage you to, um, to reach out to them to like encourage them, come on, on their pictures. Like you have no idea what sort of relationship you can form with them now. And to just in the same way that we all want grace for things that we've done in the past or grace for times we've even fallen off on our health and fitness journey and grace and all of that, extend that grace too. Because this community really is supposed to be something that's thriving, that's built on grace and determination. And um, that where you're going to feel more uplifted and encouraged because you're a part of this. And so so, um, and more confident because you're part of this. And in order to do that, you need to build other people up so you can feel built up as well. So I just wanted to share that, those couple of thoughts on just really being a part of tribe and why we created it and why I want to encourage each of you guys to continue to be a part of it or to start being a part of it. If you just happen to watch this video because you're interested, but you haven't really been participating in the team page, the tribe page before. Yeah. No, that's so true. And I think that, you know, um, actually I was talking to a girlfriend yesterday about how essential community is in the grand scheme of things and how like I've been trying, I've been wrestling a lot with this idea of like creating, and I know I've talked about it before, but creating like an SD fit club, like where women come together and we, we brainstorm and we meal plan and we talk about hacks to make life easier and we work out and we do all these things and how community is so essential to helping you feel involved. And I really feel like cut down on like that loneliness factor. Cause the, the truth is, is, you know, you can be in a workplace or you can be in your, you know, your relationships, but if you're not like living life with people, sometimes it feels very isolating. And I know for me, as I do stay home, so I don't actually have any like people really to talk to except for the three of you here today. <laughs> really grateful. Um, <laughs> the other human faces, um, except for this one-year-old boy who screams at me. <laughs> He's the but, uh, <laughs> really nice. Anyway, I think that it, this, this could be that for you, you know what I mean? And, and you, it lets it, it helps you just keep moving forward. And so, but you have to try, you have to fight for it. You have to, you know, you got to try. And so, um, I think that's kind of all I really wanted to cover on, you know, if you find a great recipe and you're like, man, this is so good, share it. You know, if you all of a sudden are like, man, this Shakeology recipe is, recipe is like, amazing share it you you know all of a sudden you're like you guys my pants from 2014 they fit share it like this is that place like don't just do it all alone because the loneliness will eventually lead to no more eventually you're like eh, no one's really cheering me on your husband's like why do you still work out your you know your your friends are like eh, you're, none of them work out and none of them take care of themselves and that's kind of what I'm going through right now and I'm like wow it's kind of like I started teaching all these classes and I invite them all the time and do they, sh you know, eh, 
okay, you know, and that's fine. But like the truth is I love, I feed off of that. And so I think we can all feed off of it together. So, um, that being said, I kind of wanted to talk about 80 day obsession because I feel like I've seen more than I'm trying to like think about the good way to say this. <laughs> no. I starting the premise of, I really do think 80 day obsession is probably one of the more effective programs that we have in our library. It's amazing. However, I think that if you don't do the time nutrition to the point, like to the best of around, like you end up eating like two hours after your workout, or all of a sudden you're eating all this food that you normally wouldn't eat. And your body's not even in that fat burning mode anymore. So now it's like, you're kind of you're just more or less eating. So I think that, and I was kind of talking to Andy, um, my coach about this today. And I think that sometimes you, you, you may need to alter the program to fit your, your lifestyle. And, and Autumn talked about this in our coach exclusive group about how, like, if the meal plans aren't working for you, then change it. It's, it's your workout. It's your life. Um, <clears throat> but don't just sit in the, like, oh, I'm not getting any results, but I'm just going to keep doing it. No, make alterations to what you, you know, and I'm not saying to fix the program, but if it ultimately you're eating like you know, three hours before your workout and then you're eating like two hours after your workout and you're not even really giving it that time nutrition block, then I don't think you're, I think your body's just like, wow, we're eating more food. Whoa, we're eating more food. And it's just going to hang on to weight. And as long as you're not discouraged by that and you're still seeing change in your body, which I think that you will, I think you're still going to lose the inches and you're still going to see the difference in muscle tones and all that, but you might not actually see a change on the scale. And I think that, that that's where that, those timed areas need to be really, really specific. I personally am not seeing any change in, in, in the actual scale. Um, I did initially and then it all kind of just came back and, um, but that's not also why I'm doing the program. So I'm not like, I don't want to use my example, but I have seen a lot of people struggle with this idea that they're not seeing the change. And so that's when I think you have to sit down and you have to say, okay, well, what changes am I seeing? What am I seeing a difference in my before and current? Am I seeing a difference in inches? Am I seeing the change in my physical, my body, my mind, my sleep, all of that? Then I think that you're on the right path and you need to keep moving forward. Um, but I I think that if ultimately you're gaining weight and you're, you know, you're feeling like you're more stressed out than you are enjoying it, then, then plot twist, you know, like let's work together and let's make sure that you are getting the best results that you can get from this program. But don't be surprised if you're not getting any results and you're not doing it to a T, I think is really ultimately what you kind of need to think about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that um, there's like that quote on Pinterest. It's like, if you kind of sort of commit, you're going to kind of sort of get results. And I think that's true of any, literally any part of our lives, but it's true of this program too. And that maybe you started, but you're feeling like you, you're too far behind now. And you feel like you've kind of missed out on getting these results. And now we have like half the program left. And it's just, you know, like you start feeling... I don't know. And I want you to know that we constantly have new groups starting that just because you joined one group and then maybe life happened, maybe you fell off track, maybe you got super sick and maybe, um, you just feel too discouraged to continue in that group. Start over, start day one again. And I know that it can seem daunting. Like, well, everyone else is like on day 35 or 36. And now I'm going to have to start over on day one. But the reality is, is you guys, <laughs> um, the dream is like that the hope is that we all live really long lives. And if you look back on that first like 36 days, 37 days, <clears throat> it went by so fast, honestly. Um, I mean, it's, it feels like we've also lived a lifetime, but like in terms of like the program, you know, like the time is going to pass anyway. It's going to go by quickly. Start over on day one. And if you need to, I think one of the most powerful things that you can do if you weren't able to stay on track before is invite one of your close friends to do it with you. Yeah. Invite someone in your family to do it with you. Share with them why this is so important to you. Share with them why you're starting over. Share with them why you want them to join you and do it together. Because I can tell you that accountability is the game changer here. And you have every tool you need to be successful. 
this program was designed <clears throat> by people who get paid lots of money to make sure that we're going to get great results with these programs. And so we just need to trust the process. We need to follow it. Some days aren't going to be perfect. Kim and I joke all the time. We're just a hot mess. Yesterday, my refeed day was like such a mess. I ended up like not eating anything and left my sliders and loops in San Diego at my, at my friend's house. So I stayed with down there. And so she ended up having to give them all the equipment to my fiance who's going to bring them up to me tomorrow when he visits. But so like the last two days, I did cardio flow yesterday and today I did upper fix from 21 day fix. It's like, yeah. So it's just like, you know, like you adjust and then just continue moving forward. It doesn't, it's like, if you weren't able to be hundred percent perfect, that doesn't mean that you're not going to get results from this or that you should just quit. But if you need a fresh start, start over and give that to yourself and know that you can do this. Um, you just need to like fully commit to it. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that you, you know, this is like what we built this business on is grace and determination. Like yeah. you're not always going to be perfect, but you're always moving forward. You can't be stuck. You just can't, you, you just have to decide, you know, um, the, what you want is better than the excuse that you And ultimately I... I know <clears throat> some days I go into it and I'm like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yesterday is like, I ate five pieces of licorice. I'm not even going to talk about it. It was just, it wasn't pretty, but like, I know that I have what it takes to keep moving forward. Yeah. And I came home yesterday. I went to pick up Carter yesterday from preschool and I shared this in my workout post today, but his teacher says to me that, um, they did like a yoga class or they did like some workout and Carter says, or th his teacher, Mr. Alicia says, yeah, Carter was all of a sudden like, Hey guys, Hey guys, I got some moves. I got some moves for you. And he, she's like, he was doing stuff we've like never even seen. <laughs> and so I later asked Carter, I'm like, show me what you were doing. And anyway, but then he says to her, he's like, yeah, my mommy, she takes really good care of herself. She even has a six pack. Do you know what a six pack is? And <laughs> the questions that he asks, you know, like, what's that? Like, how come you have that? And you know, cause he's, they're just very like inquisitive and want to know all these things. And she, and he said, yeah, she takes really good care of herself. You know what? I'm going to have her bring her computer and her yogurt and her, and what do you call it? A workout carpet. And she's, um, and she's going to show you all the things that she does. And we're going to have such a good workout. <laughs> so like, that's, so that's, that's for me. Like that's life giving, you know, like my kids are going to learn from an early age that there's, that there's just, it, it isn't about the physique. It's just about having the energy and the stamina to get through the tough stuff of life. Because ultimately that's what you gain when you take care of your body. I don't care who you are. You know, I don't care what, what weight you weigh, what, whatever you are, that workout gives you life. It gives you air in your, air in your breath. It gives you a stronger heartbeat. It gives you immunity. I mean, it just gives you everything. And, and I feel like then the kitchen follows, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to just undo everything you just did. And so it's just, it's all encompassing. Yeah. And following what Kim was just saying about in terms of like, once you like focus and then like the kitchen can follow, everything starts to follow. I would really encourage you to not just think about day one, something I shared this in the tribe earlier this week, but um, Mike and I started premarital counseling this week. And one of the things that the pastor was talking about is just like, it's not just about day one, like the day you get married, but like, what do you want the last day of your marriage to look like, to feel like, what do you want to be able to say as you reflect back on your full marriage? And then just, um, our actions have to reflect like what's going to lead us to that point. And I think the same is true in our health and fitness journey. Cause we can get so focused on day one, right. Or we can get so focused on each day, but if we just start thinking about the end, right. And we can do short term goals. Like how do I want to feel on the last day of 80 day obsession? When I talk about it, what do I want to be able to say for me? I want to be able to say, I got the best results possible that even on days where I messed up or whatever, that life took over, I continue to push forward. I want to be proud of the fact that I stuck with it. I want to be proud of the results that I, that I got. Um, I want to be excited to share about the different parts of the program. And in order to do that, that means that each day I have to make that like the best decisions possible, right? I need to like be, um, I need to decide that I'm going to be that person. Like I can picture what I'm going to be able to say on the last day of this. And so I each day have to just act like the person I want to be at the end of this. And yeah. so it just starts with like, okay, I am this person. I am this person who in 80 days or in 42 days from now, I'm going to be able to say, like I completed this program. I finished it. I did every single workout I did, you know, like I, 
follow the nutrition plan like the majority of the time. And I'm excited about what I've accomplished. And so that means that today is not a lost day, that today matters um, and that I need to do the best that I can today because I'm so excited about what I'm going to be able to say in 40 days from now. And so I think if we just start picturing who we want to be and start making our choices that are consistent with that are going to lead us there, that that helps so much. And if you notice nothing about that was about the number on the scale, nothing about that was like, Oh, like I need to have a specific number of abs at the end of this, or I need to, you know what I mean? It's like, what do I want to say at the end of this? Who I want, who do I want to be? What do I want to be proud of? Um, and just having grace for my body through the whole process. And so, um, you know, and then also I shared this with Kim earlier, but, Um, And a twist of events that my fiance and I have decided that we're getting married like on April 14th or 15th of this year and like two months from now, a little bit less. And um, what a blessing it is that I am not stressed about, oh no, now I only have like seven weeks to like get my body in check because consistently I take care of myself. So now it's just, hey, I'm really excited that I have these programs and tools. And yeah, I want to tone up a little bit more before we go. And then before Kim and I are in Mexico, right? Like, but nothing about that is like, because this is just my life, because this is how I treat my body. I have no stress about, I hope that dress fits like, or, oh, I hope that, I mean, in fact, my concern is like, I hope they can tailor it in time to my whittled waist. (laughs) And my round booty. <laughs> my <laughs> round. Get it. <laughs> and so I just want to encourage you guys to just consistently make choices. Like, who do you want to be? What do you want to say about yourself? What do you want your kids to say about you? What do you want your friends to know about you? Um, and then just make choices consistent with that rather than focusing on how much you weigh on the scale. And specifically, you know, like the specific number of inches that like your hips are, you know, just focus on you and your body and your quality of life. And then as Kim said, like the rest follows, your actions follow, um, your body, the results will follow. Um, And I think you're going to enjoy them a lot more because you're working on the internal part too, as well. So yeah, I think that's huge. I think that's huge. I think that we you know, I ran into this, um, I talked to a girlfriend yesterday who it does a different program, but it's all, um, let's, I might, it, no, I'll keep it. I'll just, I'll just keep it over here. Anyway, she, um, was talking about how she met this beach body coach who, um, quit the business because she, I don't really know why she quit the business, but anyway, she was talking about how she feels so free now because it's not even about working out anymore. And I was like, oh, well, that's kind of interesting. So you would rather eat like a, a packaged meal and lose your weight without ever, you know, she still works out here and there, but it's not something like her, the things she posts about now are more like, you know, usually I'd feel so down and out if I couldn't get my workout in, but because I, I don't, that's not my priority more anymore. I don't need that to lose weight and like stay, you know, fit. I, it's just so freeing. And I was, and it kind of like, it, it bugged, it bugged me all night. Like it just was that thing of like, I just, right. But you're not like your body it's, it's, and I'm not saying it's, you have to work out and be an obsession of working out. Like if I would say I was way more obsessed back in the day when I would spend hours at that stinking gym, sweating my butt off and getting no results. That to me was obsession. Now it's just a workout in the, in my garage for 2% of my day. And I just think that it's such a shame when people believe because it's more about the scale for her. She wants to be, you know, she just wants it easy. It's an easy fix to just eat a package meal that they send you in the mail and you, and I'm not talking a meal like a, like a greens and some chicken. I'm talking like little plastic container that yeah. you open. And you Preservatives. Open. Yeah. Preservatives that you have no idea like what's even inside of it. Like that to me is like, you're kind of missing the point. And so I just think that we need to remember, and Britt, you reminded me of this the other day. It's like, we get to take care of ourselves. And I never want to get to the place where it's like, man, that was, I'm, it's too late. It's yeah. too late. And now I'm paying for my health. Yeah. I want to know that I did the work now and sure things could happen to me and whatever, but 
at the end of the day, I'm doing the work now because I can and I get to, and I'm joyfully excited to head into that garage and work my butt off because it's because I can, and I am grateful that I have two legs, I got two arms and I get to actually move my body. And I think you have to go into every single workout like that. Yeah. And the more you tell yourself that, and the more, you know, I know everybody hates that cardio flow workout on Saturday. The more you tell yourself you hate it, the more you're going to hate it. The minute you start telling yourself, gosh, I can't wait to do that workout on Saturday. It's going to be so great. Your mind will change every single day. Remind yourself and eventually you will see the change. And that's what it's all about. So, and it's so true. Cause I shared earlier, I did cardio flow yesterday cause it didn't require any equipment. So I could like, and so I did it and, um, the inchworms, am I right? The rough, but I kept thinking that like, I want more toned arms and a more toned back. So every little, like, I, they're not steps, but you know what I mean? Like yeah. every, you know, yeah. part of the worm, um, is helping me get closer to that. So it's just like making sure that I don't skip any reps, making sure that I take advantage of every single rep of this workout so that I can get the best results possible because I want the most toned arms, right? I want a yeah. toned back. I want all of these things. And it's like, this is how I'm going to get it. Like, why am I complaining? Like when someone gave me the answer, like I said, I want this, it was given to me. And now I'm mad. Cause it's like, <laughs> you know, okay. and it's like, yeah, it's like, no, no, this is hard. Yeah. But I like, just like Kim said, like I get to do it. I get yeah. to like more reps to like get closer to my goals in this one workout. Like I don't have to wait till tomorrow, you know, like today, today. I can make so much more progress. And so, um, and I can tell you, yeah, your mindset is it's freeing. It's either going to chain you down and make you like dread this workout every week, or it's going to um, like lift you up and help you be excited about what you can get from this workout. Totally. Totally. Awesome. Okay. Well, so great. So your face yeah. is so great. <laughs> so can I ask a question? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I was trying to unmute you. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys talk about posting in tribe or being a part of tribe, um, are you meaning all of, cause you guys are in many challenge groups. Like you, you do challenges on top of challenges. Um, I participated in the 80 day, but I never part participated in it. Um, I'm in the love yourself challenge group. Is yeah. that what you mean by tribe? Like you're that's yeah, just so tribe, is that tribe, a blanket statement? Tribe Trifecta is the, it's like an ongoing group. So there's no end date. It's on Facebook. There's no format. It's on Facebook. So there's, I think I'm in it. You are in it. You told okay. anybody who's ever been a customer of anybody. So the minute you join Beachbody in any form or facet, our entire team, your best rad life adds people in there. So like, it's just a collection of people who have, you know, they started and they never finished. They're gone, but they're still in there. It's just, a, it's, it's everybody. Anybody. Are you anybody. suggesting that in addition to posting in your challenge groups, you also post on there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially too, Mary, as you now becoming a coach on our team, like that's going to be a place for you that people who aren't in your current challenge group, but have been in them before, but now are in the tribe can still see you and feel like they're still a part of your journey and be inspired to like dig into that as well. So the ongoing group, it's like if people, we put everyone in there, but sometimes people don't want the very specific love yourself group like we're doing in February right? Like they don't want, maybe they're going to do a different workout program. Um, maybe they stopped drinking Shaco, or maybe they just wanted something that was more ongoing. They don't like the app, whatever it is. There are people in there who are not in the specific monthly groups as well. And so we make sure to check into both so that we can stay connected with people who've been in our groups before to give them this community that we promised them. Um, and then, and so we encourage all of our coaches on our team to do the same thing. And it's just this amazing community of women. Um, for people who are just customers, we encourage them to post in both because it's, they're going to get encouragement and also be able to encourage different groups of people. Um, but for them, it's really just, if you're a customer in one of our groups, like it's your preference of which group you want to be a part of. Um, but as a coach, we definitely encourage you to post in both um, so that you can be connected with all the people who you've added into that community. Cool. If that makes sense. It does. <laughs> I have another question. Yeah. Who comes up with the challenge groups? And 
um, cause all I see, so like you, you're both in the love yourself challenge group. You're both coaches. Where does that come from? Is it from the tribe? Like, do you all do it together? Um, so Kim and I, so the beauty of this is, is that you can do whatever you want to do. What Kim and I do is, uh, we've done both ways for years. We just did separate groups where it was just whatever she wanted to do. She did and whatever I wanted to do. I did. Um, but I don't know, I believe we're better together. <laughs> so we just were on, we've now like scheduled our groups where we have the same groups that start on the same dates every month. And so we just, we co-lead them. Um, and so we just talk about like, what, uh, what theme do you want to do? Or did we do a theme last year that we loved? Let's just reuse the same group. Um, and so we, as a coach, like we share all of our templates with you. So you don't have to create your own challenge group templates. If you don't want to, you can use whatever we've created. And then, um, you can either lead groups by yourself. You can ask if you want to co-lead with us. We have two other coaches who are co-leading the love yourself group with us. Um, or you can, um, if you want to, uh, we always, we recommend, so Kim and I, what we call ourselves a success partner. Where we're technically, I mean, Andy is both our coach on our team, but we're actually not, like, I'm not on Kim's team. She's not on my team, if that makes sense, even though we're part mm -hmm. of this family. Um, but we're success partners, and we just like doing everything together. So we have built this community together. So we always encourage, like, if you want someone, a buddy, a success partner, let us know, and we'll try to match you up with someone who's on our teams so that you can have someone, too, if the two of you just want to brainstorm, hey, when should we have our challenge group? And um, what, what's, what should be the theme and what do you want to do? How many posts a day should there be? And, you know, so you can recreate the wheel if you want to, or just, um, follow what Kim and I are doing or even co-lead with us if you want to. Sky's the limit with whatever we want to do. And, yeah. and yeah, we just have, you know, a lot of times like a new movie will come out. Like when Wonder Woman came out, we decided let's do a Wonder Woman, yeah. you know, Beauty and the Beast. Or, so we did a Beauty and the Beast one. Yeah. You know, or all of a sudden, right. Or even all of a sudden, Beach Body comes out with a brand new program. Like I've heard through the grapevine, there's like a new Sagi one coming out. So we oh, usually, yeah. yeah. So we usually just decide. Actually, I think it's called Beauty and the Beast. So I think it's going to oh. be kind of like a, I don't know who he's doing oh, it with. I wonder. Ooh, I wonder. I know. I would be surprised if he did another one with Autumn. Because Especially it would be just rock yeah. this one, but it could be like Megan from Clean. Oh, probably. Or... I don't think. I think Shaleen is due for a program, but I don't know that they would match up. I don't think they're a match. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they just anyway. don't. <laughs> so much of her own. Th I follow her. She does so much of her own stuff. Does she still even really participate with Beachbody? She does. She yeah, like she comes to all of our events. She like we worked out live with her. Was it just last summer or the summer before? Yep. So she's yep. definitely, but you're right. She has her own like academy and marketing stuff and whatever. But um, I know I, I did. I did her marketing academy. Um, I didn't do her one, three, one, but my yeah, sister did. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, she's still around. She just, I think she's due. I think we're going to see, um, I think we're going to see, you know, something. Yeah. Um, with but her. so Mary, I hope that that answered your question, but basically it's as free as you want to be. But if you want the structure to follow what Kim and I, it took us years to figure out how to schedule our month. Like when do our groups start every month and, um, to kind of have this structure of how to get those set up. And so we provide our calendars. We really encourage the girls on our team, um, to just jump into what we've already created. Um, whether you want to do it by yourself, but just follow our same timeline. It just, it's a lot easier for all in the same timeline. Um, you can use all the resources we've created or, uh, give us some great new ideas and we can brainstorm together um so know that you don't have to do anything by yourself but you're more than welcome to yay yeah okay cool well we keep it to our half an hour <laughs> <laughs> onward and upward yeah it's so nice to see you. i'm so sorry for legs today i'm gonna be something fierce tomorrow <laughs> oh i can't wait to get back into the, it's funny because it's like i feel like it's given me a whole new lease on excitement i actually am obsessed with phase two i am loving phase two workouts oh, yeah. and um 
so but I'm like man these like hour long workouts are like this is a long time and it was so funny because then today I did the half hour and I was like man I'm just not used to these 30 minutes anymore I just feel like <laughs> I need something you know like I need autumn to be a little more a little more fierce like she's an 80 day obsession than in 21 day fix <laughs> she's <laughs> her bearings yeah yeah she's just getting she's getting ready to kick her butt yeah <laughs> I'm sure we'll hang out with her in Mexico. It's a little bit fun. I love her. Yeah. I know. She's the best. She really does. Does great things for all. Just for everything. And her body is ridiculous. It really is. It's interesting to learn, too, that she deals with a lot of bloating problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, when, yeah, I didn't see that in the 80 days. <laughs> no. I'm like, oh, you're struggling with bloating right now, huh? Hmm. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is it, huh? Uh, okay. uh, anyway, all right. Okay, friends. Okay, well, thanks for listening. For those that listened, we'd love to hear thanks your for feedback. On. Thanks yeah. for answering questions. Yeah, yeah welcome. Yeah, we'll talk we'll, soon. We'll talk soon, and I'll see you all. We'll see you next a week. Two hundred is an actual date, but I think it's. I think it might be March first. I oh, think it yeah. is March first. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, we'll see you March 1st. Can't wait. Okay. Bye. Bye.